I would like the Council for the County Assembly to help me. And I'm happy to be reminded that he teaches law to our children. Mr. Speaker, the country has heard, the country has seen in that video that the governor of Meru was not in that video. Her voice was not heard in that video. So what I would like you to help me, teacher of law, is the legal high standard of fishing expedition. Would you like to stand down that video purely because your witness has confirmed to this Senate and the whole Republic that the governor was not there, her voice was not heard. And if you still stand that you don't want to stand down the, the evidence, do you want to teach students at the university that they can edify something that lacks moral and intellectual instruction to a council? Mr. Speaker, I've now found the volume setting the relevant law. It is volume three of the county assembly's document in answer to the question by the Honorable Senator Kalwale. At page, I believe that is seven, of our Bado volume three, we have reproduced section 24, page 37 of the assembly's volume three, we have produced section 24 of the Public Officer Ethics Act. And it is clear from that section one, for purposes of compliance with chapter six, one can take responsibility for acting through others. And in this case, we humbly submit the governor has been acting through her husband. Number two, this is how, Mr. Speaker, you know the governor was acting through her husband. In October 2022, the husband is seen on the video saying, these officers shall never return to office, court order or no court order. And true to his utterance, the governor ensures that they don't return for a full 365 days. And while at it, Mr. Speaker, in any event, I keep repeating, there is a conviction as we speak. And that conviction is res judicata. That is to say, that matter is closed as a legal question because it has not been appealed to a higher court within the time required by law. So as we speak right now, the governor is actually a convict. And those are not my words. There is a court order to that effect. Now, honorable senators, we have uh, six more witnesses to call. And if you read the program, we are supposed to stretch it to 7 p.m. And therefore, uh, I will take.